Time now for the KSL In-Depth. If you're the Utah Jazz, how do you beat the best team in basketball? Well, a former Jazz coach was in a similar situation in the 1988 playoffs and resorted to off-court blustering to take the heat off his young team. KSL News Radio's Cleon Wall has the fascinating story. Distraction and deception. Jazz force a turnover, but they give it right back. Here's Worthy. That was Frank Layden's plan after the Utah Jazz lost to the defending champ L.A. Lakers in Game 1 of their Western Conference semifinal in 1988. As I had done through many years with the young Jazz teams, was to distract the press, distract the fans away from the possibilities. And that's okay. Look at Frank Layden. He's nuts. So he shut the locker room down to the media. The press was incensed. I think he got fined $25,000 or something like that for closing the locker room. Center Mark Eaton says before that happened, Layden had a message for his team. He said, I'm going to go out there and tell the press that the Lakers are simply the greatest team I've ever seen and we have no business being on the court with them. And then we're going to come back on Tuesday and kick their rear end. Yeah, it shocked everybody because it shocked the press. And and that's where all the comments are going to come from. It really set the tone for the series. It gave up, he, you know, he gave us a little bit of breathing room, lowered the expectations to a certain extent. I think caught the Lakers off guard. And we came back in game two and, and we're just on fire. And the Utah Jazz are going to go back to Salt Lake City dead even. Eaton blocked seven shots. Carmelo and Thurl Bailey scored 29 and 20 points respectively. And John Stockton dished out 13 assists in Utah's 101-97 victory at the Forum. I, I think we started believing in ourselves a little bit more after that win. The Jazz's confidence was soaring, but the Lakers ended up prevailing in seven games. And the Lakers can celebrate their survival, I guess. They were the better team, but we gave them everything they could handle. Shoot, Hayward spins, fires, hits with 1.7. Eaton and Layden see similarities with that 88 squad and the current Jazz team's tall task of taking on the Golden State Warriors. The team is starting to grow and come together and develop that deeper rapport uh, with each other out there on the court, which only comes from being tested. I'm going to go on record right now. The Warriors are beatable. The Jazz have that capability to beat them. But could current coach Quinn Snyder pull the laden special of distraction and deception? That uh, might be old by now, you know. Uh, I don't know if people would believe him. Cleon Wall, KSL News Radio. Great story. You can read Cleon's full story at KSL.com, or you can listen to Coach Layden's full interview by checking out the podcast Overtime with Cleon Wall. It's on the KSL News Radio app, brought to you by Any Hour Services.